Wednesday, January 21st, 2021, second week after the Epiphany Evening Meditation. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choice as Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of Faith in the Presence of God, in nomen Patri, Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God in three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for. Saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, se benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Pernobis Peccatoribus, Nucne Hora Mortis Nostri. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Secret Erat in Principio, Nuca Semper, and Secula Seculorum. Amen. Evening Meditation, the contempt with which the sinner treats God. God himself declares that the sinner treats him with contempt and complains of it in these words, quote, I have brought up children and exalted them, but they have despised me. Isaiah 1, verse 2. I have brought up my children, I preserved and nourished them, but with base ingratitude they have despised me. But who is God who is thus despised by men? He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is the sovereign, infinite good, in whose sight men and angels are as a drop of water or a grain of sand. Quote, as a drop of the bucket, as a little dust. Isaiah 4, 40, verse 15. In a word, all things created in the presence of his infinite greatness are as though they were not. <clears throat> Quote, all nations are before him as if they had no being at all and are counted to him nothing in vanity. Isaiah 40, verse 17. Behold me, O God, a daring sinner, who has presumed to despise thy infinite majesty. But whilst thou art infinitely ma but whilst thou art infinite majesty, thou art also infinite mercy. I love thee, O Lord, and because I love thee, I am sorry for having offended thee. Do thou have pity on me. And O God, who am I to have despised thee 
a poor helpless worm of nothing but what thou in thy bounty hast bestowed upon me. Thou hast given me my soul, my body, the use of reason, and numberless other benefits in this world, and I have made no other use of them all but to offend thee, my benefactor. Nay, more, at the very time that thou didst preserve my life, that I might not fall into hell as I deserved, I abused thy goodness and forbearance. O oh, my Savior, how couldst thou have such patience with me? Wretched that I am, how many nights have I slept under thy displeasure? But thou wouldst not have me perish. I trust, O oh, my Jesus, in thy blessed passion that thou wilt enable me to change my life. Let not that sacred blood be lost, which with so much pain and sorrow that it's shed for my salvation. Man is a miserable worm that can do nothing. He is so blind that he knows nothing so poor and naked that he possesses nothing. And this miserable worm voluntarily insults God. Vile dust, says St. Bernard, dares to provoke such tremendous majesty. Oh God, what have I done? Thou, my Redeemer, hast shown such regard for my soul as to shed thy blood for its salvation, and I have been so wretched as to allow it to perish for a mere nothing. For a caprice, for a maddening passion, for a miserable gratification, in contempt of thy grace and love. Ah, if faith did not assure me that thou didst promise to pardon those who repent, I should not now dare to implore thy forgiveness. O oh, my Savior, I kiss thy sacred wounds, and for the love of these wounds I beseech thee to forget the injuries I have committed against thee. Thou hast said that when the sinner repents, thou wilt forget all his ingratitude. I am sorry above every evil for having despised thee, my sovereign good. Make haste to pardon me, and as thou hast promised, let me quickly reconcile, be reconciled to thee. I love thee now more than myself. May I never more incur thy displeasure. O Mary, refuge of sinners, succor a poor sinner who invokes thy assistance. Concluding prayer. I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may in uniformity with your divine will, O Triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and the rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomina patria, filii, spiritus sancti, men, have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.